Yo, my people, them CFC Redis Blue back with another video, and this is a Chelsea news update. And we got three topics to talk about today Thomas Tuchel, Ian Matson, and Conor Gallagher. These are the topics for today. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and make sure to smash that like button, leave your thoughts and opinions down below. And if you're new, turn on the notification bell, subscribe to their channel. And help me get 1,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. I hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. Enjoy the rest of your day and enjoy the rest of your week. And don't forget to check out the match preview that will be uploaded tomorrow for the Chelsea and Tottenham game. So, yeah, man. Thank you again for your support. And now, let's get into the news. I'm going to start off with Thomas Tuchel. And this is what has been said. Thomas Tuchel is ready to return to the Premier League this summer that was reported by Fabrizio Romano and my thoughts on this message to the Chelsea board right your wrongs bring back Thomas Tuchel to this club he is Chelsea manager he knows what it means to be Chelsea and do you think he ain't he's in a Champions League semi-final with Bayern Munich having just knocked out Arsenal in the previous round. If they get to the Champions League final, that'll be Thomas Tuchel's third Champions League final in five years. What more evidence do you need? You need, you need this to know that the last time we finished third in the Premier League, he was our manager. As soon as you've sacked him, you guys have made us finish 12th. And the highest we'll finish this season is 7th at the highest, in my opinion. So... You guys need to do your need to just accept that you was wrong. Admit you was wrong, swallow your pride, and bring back Thomas Tuchel to the Chelsea Football Club because he knows what it means to be Chelsea. He knows what the standards should be. He's lived it, he's breathed, he's breathed it, and he's got the trophies to show from it. Champions League, way for Super Cup, Club World Cup. He took this team that was ninth when he came in, took them to the fourth place and to a Champions League final as well as an FA Cup final, like in six months, where we were looking at guys like Rudiger at them, them, them times there, people were saying that he's washed. Turns out he's one of the best centre backs in the world, even up until now for Real Madrid. Like Thomas Tuchel has that vision. And when we have the team that we have, so many young talents and Tuchel can have so many years to spend with these guys, developing them, making them better players than... Personally speaking, personally speaking, why would you want to bring him back? If you guys don't want to bring him back, then that is just a disgrace in my opinion. It's a disgrace because he never should have got sacked in the first place where you guys wanted to be like, oh, he doesn't work with us. He doesn't collaborate with us, all of that. Stop telling him to do transfers and that. He just wants to be a coach and manage a team. That's all he wanted to do. That's it. That is it. So now do your due diligence. Bring him back because if not, he could potentially go to Manchester United. And if he goes to Manchester United and we continue this same path that we're on, finishing 12th or finishing outside of the top six, hell will break loose. Hell will break loose. And it should be. But if you are sticking with a guy like Pochettino, who has done nothing realistically all season, we played one game a week, all week, every, every single game week, basically, and we the highest we've been is eighth place, it's a disgrace. Thomas Tuchel never would have had our team in this position. He never would have had us concede 59 goals in the Premier League season after 33 games. It never would have been a case because it had never happened. Never happened. So for me, the board, bring back Thomas Tuchel. Admit you were wrong and sack Pochettino and bring him back. Because if he doesn't and he goes to another rival team like Manchester United, then we're going to have to pay for the consequences of your decisions. Your decisions. But you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on Thomas Tuchel. Do you think we should bring him back? Let me know down below. But now I'm going to move on to the next topic and this is about Ian Matson. And it's what's been said. Russia Dortmund want to keep Ian Matson at the club beyond this summer. And realistically, are we really surprised? Are we really surprised? Ian Matson, since he's gone to Russia Dortmund, been scoring goals, been getting assists, helping him get into a Champions League semi-final. Like, why wouldn't they want to keep him? Such a young prospect as well. So, so many years ahead of him before he gets into his prime. So many years. And 
I just have to say that we done him wrong. The Chelsea board, Pochettino especially, done him wrong because he should have been playing as our left back. He should have been playing as our left back. We, even in the preseason, were playing him as a winger and that. When we know full well, last season for Burnley, he got Championship Player of the Year, Burnley's Player of the Year while playing at left back. You bring him in to play him in a left winger role. You got guys like Levi Cole playing left back while he's sitting on the bench and Levi Cole ain't even a left back. These are things that Pochettino has done, things that he has done. And one of the, re- and it's one of the many reasons why he needs to get sacked because your decision making doesn't make any sense. You talk about guys and height and all this kind of stuff, forget about all that, bro. You got enough guys with height. You need someone to push more up the field and Ian Matson can be the outlet. Can be the outlet. You can see what he can do at Borussia Dortmund. He's been scoring goals, he helped them get to the Champions League semi final after scoring the quarterfinals. He helped them get assists. And it's like, I just feel, I just feel so, I feel so jarred off. I'm happy for, for um, Ian Matson to know he's at Borussia Dortmund doing everything that he is doing, getting them to a Champions League semi final, helping them um, finish in the top four in um, the Bundesliga, improving your stock. Getting the experience that you deserve, playing one of the best leagues and one of the biggest crowds every single week, majority of the time, at the Signal Duna Park, and you get the feeling of playing the Champions League semi-final. Like honestly, these are things that you deserve, and I'm so happy that you are reaping these rewards. And you should stay at Borussia Dortmund and go to another team, but you shouldn't come back to Chelsea because we've absolutely just disrespected you. The club just wants the pure profit, which I don't agree with, especially when it comes to you. Like this is just this is just the outcomes of all of these decisions that have been happening. And your scapegoat gonna have to get sold, and it's a joke because now we have to go spend money on another left back, not acting like we don't have a left back already at the club or on loan that's contracted to the club. But they're gonna be like, no, nope, thirty-five million, sell him. Ridiculous, man, ridiculous. But yeah, that's the news on Ian Matson. You guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. And now we move on to the last topic, and this is about Conor Gallagher. And this is what's come out. Chelsea's rivals are encouraged by the lack of break of the lack of breakthrough over a new contract for Conor Gallagher. We've had we've heard rumors that Tottenham are interested, Newcastle are interested, other clubs could potentially be interested. And Conor Gallagher, he's been doing his thing this season, especially since the turn of the year, 2024. He's probably bagged at least five or six goals. He's been involved in numerous amount of assists. His goal, Lazo goal against Aston Villa just the other day, like that speaks for itself. He's truly been one of our best players this season. And he's not someone that I'm going to be like, oh yeah, what else to desperately sell? I would never say that because I can understand the value of Conor Gallagher being a great squad player. If our whole team is fit, he will be on the bench, but he deserves to be in the squad. He deserves it. He knows what it means to be Chelsea. He's lived it, breathed it. He supports Chelsea through and through. Like, he's not going to be someone like a Mason Mount or anything like that, bro. Like, he actually bleeds for this club, loves this club. And man sees it every single time he steps on the field. And I just feel so bad for him because if he doesn't get sold this summer, he could potentially leave the club next year for free because the club are so hell-bent on getting... Um, they're so hell-bent on getting pure profit for the Ian Matsons of the world, for the Conor Gallagher's, Chelsea's, Cobham youth, that's paying for all of these things. It's like, it's just unfortunate. And personally speaking, I, I don't agree with it, but these are the things that are just literally out of man's control and out of all of our fans' control. Conor Gallagher could potentially leave, and if he does leave, then make sure we get at least 50 or so million for him. But do not be sending for like 40 million or below. You better be going for 50 plus. You better extort any team that's coming to try to sign him. Because if not, then we can gladly keep him. I will gladly keep Conor Gallagher. Gladly. And if you guys would agree so, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. But that's going to be it for me regarding this Chelsea news update. Make sure to check out the match preview for the Chelsea and Tottenham game that will be landing tomorrow. And make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Facebook for more Chelsea content. I'm CFC with this blue, and I'm out. Peace. Come on, Chelsea. Come on, Chelsea.